G'day Trackers, welcome back to another product review. What are we doing this week, Ash? I don't know, Dylan, what are we doing? You don't know this one, you don't know what this is. I have no idea. <laughs> so we're doing an MP, MPPT. I hate saying that word. I don't know why, I always get tongue-tied on it. But anyway, we're doing the Renergy uh, 20 amp MPPPT. And this is brought to us by, who's, who's helping us out with this review, Ash? Super cheap. Super cheap auto. So this is another product that they sent me so that I could review it for you guys and let you know about it. So get a, get around them. Uh, really good that they're now starting to leap into the four-wheel drive caravan camping sort of space. They've been doing it for a little while now, but now they're definitely really diving in and trying to bring, as they are, super cheap, trying to bring cheap alternative options. So good on super cheap. But yeah, this one is the MPPT. What will we be doing this week, Ash? Same as all every week so probably the good the good the bad bad and your thoughts my thoughts and we'll do the specs and the specs so yeah we'll get into that uh one thing i want to touch on again in this one before we get started really cool i love that same with the dc dc charger they give you a temperature sensor so this just sits near your battery and they will change the amps that comes out of this depending on the temperature of your battery so really good that way it gives you a nice long life of your battery. Nothing else sort of cool in the box to talk about. So we'll get into the review. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Into the review. Okay, we'll jump into the specs first. We know that I normally like to do those first as it really can give you an understanding if it's a good product or not. So price, phenomenally cheap, $119.99 from Super Cheap. Your warranty is three years. It will work with a 12 volt or 24 volt system. Hopefully you can see me. I can see there's a lot of sun coming in, Ash. I can see you. Should you have the camera on a different angle? You're not much of a photographer or are they getting glare from the sun? Look at that, Dylan's getting better at the photography. Ash, who's my cameraman, unfortunately he's getting worse and worse. <laughs> Replace me. <laughs> I've got nobody to replace you with. Mm. So, it'll work on a 12 or 24 volt system. The maximum current that you can have going through it is 20 amps, uh, and it'll do a maximum voltage input of 94 volts DC, so, sorry, 95. So that basically means if you've got a whole bunch of panels joined together, 12 volt panels, they're obviously gonna go up in voltage. The more you have, it'll handle up to a 95 volts. Uh, and then your maximum power input is 260 watts. So if you've got anything bigger, than probably a 300 watt panel. Unfortunately, this will have to reduce the amount of watts that you're actually getting out of it. They do other sizes though, don't they? They do. What are the other sizes? 30 and a 40. Yep, so you've got plenty of options. Uh, they also do maximum battery that you can hook it up to. If you have a 32 volt system, which I think is trucks, you can hook this up to your 32 volt battery system. IP32 rated, so can't go outside in the rain. It's not uh, dust and water resist resistant. So it does have to be put inside your car or caravan. Operating, it'll work between, is that meant to be minus 35 ash? You did the table. I'm assuming it's not, it'll only work between 35 and 45 degrees. That's what it said. <laughs> I'm assuming it's minus 35 to Who positive said, 45. But minus 35 is not possible. Well. It's not going to, like what, you're telling me at 30 degrees it stops working? That's what I was saying on that so website. Apparently, majority of the time in Australia, it's not going to work. So, where'd you get the stats from? From their actual website? Yep. From Renergy. still open. So, according to Renergy, yeah, it's not going to work below 35 degrees. So, I reckon that's obviously a missed typo by them. Your dimensions are up on the screen. Uh, your weight, it's under two kilos again, which is phenomenal. It's got a whole bunch of class ratings. So, should we get into the good and bad, where I basically break it down? Yep. Okay, let's go to the good first. Okay, into the good. First point, I love any units that have a screen. I just think it makes life 10 times easier. You can see everything that's going on without having to get up a Bluetooth app or without having to get multimeters, without having to go to your caravan display. I just love that as an extra bit of information. The lights as well for warnings, nice and good. It's got a whole bunch of warning lights. The back's all metal, which is really cool. So all nice and metal. The front is plastic, which I would have loved for that to all be metal. Uh, and then obviously, as I mentioned, your temperature sensor is something else that's really cool. Uh, and yeah, the buttons, obviously, it'll be easy to operate and change. So 
all in all, there's a couple of good things on there, which I really like. Obviously, because of the screen, it does make the unit a bit bigger, but I'm happy to go a bigger unit uh, and have that LCD screen than to give that up. So, into the bad, into the bad. No, God, please, no, no! So, first thing I want to touch on is there's the ability to turn it to Bluetooth through, uh, through your telephone sort of pulled it, your RJ45, I think they are. So you can plug that in, there's a Bluetooth module, it's like 45 bucks, which you can buy. Honestly, I would have loved to have seen them increase the price by $45 and make it Bluetooth from the get-go. That, that would have been perfect, because I've, I've been looking for an MPPT that's Bluetooth and there's not many brands out there that actually do it. Uh, there's only two that I know of that do a Bluetooth MPPT, so I would have loved for them to do it to become the third. Handy that you can just buy it, but yeah, it would have been easier to have it pre-done. Uh, Anything else bad? I actually don't think, other than that, there's anything else bad. Everything else about it, oh, making it waterproof, that would have been pretty good, doing your IP67 rating, so it could have been water and dustproof like the DC-DC charger. That would have been really cool as well, but for under $200, you can see why they've obviously had to skimp on a couple of things. But yeah, I would have loved to see a little bit more money and just those two things added on. Other than that, let's move on to my thoughts. I am thinking here. So, my thoughts. Would I buy one? The 20 amp? Probably not. I would go definitely your 40 because, like, as we saw there, the maximum you can take is a 260 watt, is 260 watts, which is a 300 watt panel. So, I would hands down go the bigger size and then can't fault it. Go the 40 or 30 and it's definitely worthwhile buying. But we've just had hip campers turn up. So show them the hip campers, Ash. I don't think they want to be. Come on, just show them the hip campers. No. Never had the hip campers show up. So till next time, like, comment, subscribe. See ya. And buy it from Super Cheap. They've been really good to support these videos.